Hello, dear travelers. Today we'll be taking you on a tour of the most beautiful city in all of Mexico, Guanajuato. We will show you around the city and all the most recommended spots, museums, markets, and more. But before we continue, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures. Another beautiful day in Guanajuato. We sell off churros and here we find somebody that sells churros for breakfast. I love churros. Yes, you do. How is it? It's cold. <laughs> There's many people selling churros here that you can find it everywhere. I haven't found one that's hot, but this one 15 pesos. Less than a dollar. Mm. The streets here are pretty narrow and you can see there is still buses going through and the cars. And if you're looking for restrooms, uh, a lot of those tunnels, you can go just underneath and you can find a bathroom there for 9 pesos. Now we are going to the Kissing Alley. Let's go see. Every time we've been going there, it was a huge line of people that trying to take a picture and today we came specially early so we can uh, be able to see it. Here's the balconies. <laughs> so this is the location of the Mexican Romeo and Juliet. As you can see, the balconies here are very close to each other. One girl, young girl, lived on this side of the house. A poor miner lived inside of this house. They fell in love, but their love was forbidden, like always. And they met every night at night on the balconies, and they would kiss. That's why they call it a kissing, but they're so close to each other, you can kiss. Now what happened is the father of the girl one day find out, and in the rage, he killed her. And the boy, the poor miner, he was so heartbroken that he unalive himself. So it's the, the poor story of the Mexican Romeo and Juliet. If you're interested in taking a picture in your balcony, the price is 50 pesos for each house. They're owned by different people. So you pay one house 50 pesos, you pay another house 50 pesos, and there's a person over there, or maybe there's gonna be different people over there that if you tip them and they're gonna take pictures for for you or videos for when you're on the balcony. One more kiss. Today we're gonna to take you to the Mommy's Museum. We heard a lot about this place and it's highly recommended for people that come in to visit in Guanajuato. So let's go check this place. So this is the entrance and before that they didn't have the glass and people was touching the bottles and just putting cigarettes in them. That's what the guy to say. So now, now they cover it and you can look at it through the glass only. Some interesting facts about the museum is that it gets its mummies when the family of the deceased failed to pay the 412 pesos bill from the cemetery due every seven years. And if the deceased is mummified at the time of the eviction, then it becomes property of the government and it ends up at the museum. Another fact is that the youngest mummy in the museum is a baby that has been there for around 20 years and would be in her 20s if she still was alive today. Finally, the reason these bodies get mummified here in Mexico is because one, they were buried above ground, two, the tomb is completely sealed off from the elements and bugs, and lastly, they were buried inside a wooden coffin where it can absorb the body fluids and allow the body to dry properly and mummify. Wow, what an experience, guys. I mean, 
it's just people that are very emotional and uh, cannot take this type of uh, images. It's better not to come here. We are gonna go see the university. This is the University of Guanajuato. Right underneath the university you have a coffee shop. So here we are on the stairs of the university and from here you have a gorgeous view. Our Airbnb is somewhere in this area right there on top of the mountains. How do you like Guanajuato? Beautiful. Architecture is beautiful. The people are amazing. This place is wonderful. Did I mention the weather? The weather here is amazing. Two thumbs up. Walking all over the city, you will find the tunnels, the famous tunnels of Guanajuato. They're gonna be all over the city. Now, one cool thing is, at first, they were not built for cars. They were built to divert water for a river. So all of this city had a big river a long time ago, and it was only water going through there. Another cool fact is that you're gonna find a lot of, of winding alleys around here, and that is because that's where the river used to flow. So this place used to grow organically over the centuries and it was all around the river that was around here. So one cool fact now, it's a cool area to go for a walk and a shortcut for cars to get from one part of the city to another part of the city. Guys, you're never going to be tired of being in this beautiful place. Everywhere you walk, you see such a beautiful terrains and such a beautiful buildings and colors. And it's just kind of feels amazing to walk here. Just get a cup of coffee or hot chocolate and just enjoy this walk. It's just really pleasant. Now we're on the way to the Hidalgo Market. So here we are, Market Hidalgo. Look how beautiful it is. Now if you're saying, hmm, that kind of looks like a train station. It kind of does, right? That's because that's what it was supposed to be. It was never completed and it turned it into a market. Let's go check it out. We're gonna buy some groceries here. Look, they have everything. They have food. They have uh, juices. <laughs> That's incredible. So you have here two floors with tons of shoppings, and also you have a section outside, outdoor, also a huge section. So practically, if you need groceries, clothing, gifts. That's the place, and I bet it's also cheaper than in the central. For the looks of it, it looks like on the top, it's just like your gift shop, hats, stuff like that, and on the bottom, you're gonna find the food section. Jose found stands in the market where they sell tacos or sandwiches, so we're gonna try some. And she was very nice enough to give us a, to try it.
welcome to Guanajuato city we're finally here we was looking at this place a lot on YouTube and it looks so beautiful there is a reason there is the one of the most beautiful cities in Mexico and you can see why it's just unbelievable all those buildings here with all these beautiful colors and the streets here are so gorgeous yes it looks like a painting from up here and on the bottom it looks like a city in Europe is gorgeous so right now as you can see we are by the monument of Alpipila and that's one of the heroes of Mexico actually and the monument of Alpipila is where you can see the beautiful views of the city as you can see from here it's like a panoramic view if you yes. want to come and just you know do uh, pictures and selfies that's a really good spot a lot of people coming down here yes you can either come up here by the little elevator or you can go up by the stairs we're about 6500 feet above sea level so you get a little winded pretty fast here so just make sure you take your time and you'll get used to it Now we're gonna go and catch up the elevator. So how it works is, you first have to come here to the taquilla and we're gonna get your tickets, 35 pesos each way and you can buy both ways for 70 pesos. So. Looks like the kids just finished the school. You can see a lot of students here. Beautiful place and also you can get a view of Alpipila. This is how the streets look here. As you can see they're pretty narrow. And you don't have a place to park the car here, right in the center. So you can see a lot of people just walking and enjoying the day. So here we have our friend Don Quixote. Don Quixote is a book. It's actually one of the first novellas, might be the first novellas in the whole world. That's when books were starting to get printed. So this is one of the most important books in literature history and there's a museum here in Guanajuato Welcome everybody to the Don Quixote Museum Here you can find beautiful artwork from the book Don Quixote now all of this was brought to you by Eulelio Ferrer Rodriguez. I'm not right, right, right here if it's not correct. But he is a Spanish man, a publicist that he is obsessed with Don Quixote, was obsessed. He was actually a prisoner of the Spanish Civil War back in the day. His love started from a little book that he traded from a, for a pack of cigarettes and you can find that book right here now this tiny book is what started his love for Don Quixote very cool wow that's a really great story yeah now everything that you see here all of the artwork is donated by him most of it he mostly got our artwork from his country Spain because that's where Don Quixote was started but when he moved here to Mexico he actually sought for some of the best Mexican artists 
to do the Don Quixote artwork and he let them realize however they want to do it and that's why you see Don Quixote in many ways over here and it's a beautiful book I haven't read it since I was a little kid, a kid in Venezuela where they teach it if you're not familiar maybe you can look for it in YouTube it's a great piece of work and while in YouTube Hit the subscribe channels to our channel so you don't miss any of our future adventures and hit the like button and notifications. All right, let's get going. Today's a Saturday and it looks like there is a market in the center here. For people that like flan, there is a stand here that sells you a flan. We're gonna try it. I like flan. There is a local stand here that sells something very interesting. Chalupas. Chalupas. <laughs> Now we're gonna go to some uh, like coffee shop, I guess, like a small restaurant that we keep seeing that's on the YouTube and we wanna go and check it out. It looks like they have a coffee. Let's go see how it is. Look at this cappuccino. It is the best coffee guys in town. You should really come definitely and check it out. And we are going to explore, explore the neighborhood. There. We don't know what's up here, but let's see. We're not sure what's going on there, but we're gonna go and see. It looks like people live here. It's like a residential places. Definitely a good workout. <laughs> wow, look how beautiful it is here. This is just unbelievable. You you can walk here the whole day in Guanajuato Central and not get tired of it because everywhere you turn, you're going to have a beautiful, beautiful area. This is a main church. Chinese New Year in Guanajuato. There's gonna be a little festival here. We're gonna show you. Right next to the market, you're gonna have your place with restaurants with traditional Mexican food. We're gonna go upstairs and check it out. Let's go. And they have all local Mexican dishes here. And we're gonna try and see how it is here. What did you order, Jose? I ordered the traditional food for Guanajuato, which is in enchiladas mineras which is kind of like some enchiladas which so it's gonna have some steak next to it and then you order the ponzole it's a traditional mexican soup so this is the traditional food enchiladas mineras let's see wow it looks so good the steak is good let's try the enchiladas Very 
very good. They call it enchiladas mineras because this is what the miners used to eat. So they have to have a lot of food. So potatoes, this is not your regular enchiladas. It's like enchiladas to the power. <laughs> This place is really, really highly recommended since the meals are really huge here and they're delicious. It's like mom's, pop's food and the lady here, she's super nice, the one that's cooking the food. When you come, come upstairs to, to Lolita. Very good service. Now we're on the way to the Aldiga Granadista Regional Museum where the revolution started. Let's go. This was a jail where people were kept here. The most dangerous men were kept down here and some of the um, other prisoners were kept up here. And let me show you something. Throughout the building up here, you're gonna find names. This was names from the prisoners. We keep going here. Another prisoner here, LM. Luis Mirales. So you have so much history in this place. So many names. You go all over the place. You have different um, prisoners writing their name in history here. So very cool place. Very cool things happened here before it was turned to a museum 80 some years afterwards. <laughs> guys thank you so much for joining us on the visit to the different museums in Guanajuato this place is full of history it's a beautiful place and we couldn't have done it without you so thank you so much for being with us today hope you liked the video and if you liked it please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe it really helps us with the YouTube algorithm so it can show more people this beautiful country of Mexico Thank you so much for watching and see you next. See you on the next one. Bye.